Hi guys, today we're going to make a white chocolate and fennel dessert. It may sound strange, but the combination works really well. We're going to make a fennel seed ice cream with a white chocolate mousse, a fennel crumble, a sponge cake, and some fennel flour galettes. So, let's begin. First, let's make the fennel ice cream. Pour 500 grams of cream into a saucepan together with 500 grams of milk, 200 grams of sugar, 30 grams of skimmed milk powder, and 20 grams of fennel seeds. Now mix it and then bring it to a boil. Meanwhile, transfer 90 grams of egg yolk in a bowl. Then while stirring, add the boiling liquid to the yolks. Pour it back into the pan and while stirring, heat it up till it's 85 degrees Celsius. After that, pour it into a bowl, cover it with plastic foil and let it rest in your fridge for at least 6 hours. I always leave it overnight. Now let's make the fennel seed crumble. For this first, pour 70 grams of flour on your worktop make a well in the middle. Fill the well with 100 grams of sugar, 10 grams of fennel seeds, 100 grams of butter, 2 grams of flaky salt, 40 grams of melted white chocolate and 100 grams of almond powder. Now knead it into a nice dough. Now spread the dough on a tray that's lined with a silicon sheet. Bake it at 160 degrees Celsius for around 20 minutes and mix it every 5 minutes with a whisk. Then let it cool down and keep it dry and covered for later. Now for the white chocolate galette. For this I first pick some beautiful fennel flowers in our garden. Now cut off the tops. After that pour some melted chocolate that's 45 degrees celsius on your worktop and while moving the chocolate cool it down till it's 28 degrees celsius. Then transfer it back into the bowl and mix it till it's 30 degrees celsius. Now pour the chocolate on a plastic sheet and spread it. Sprinkle some fennel seeds on top and then cover it completely with the fennel flowers. Transfer the sheet on a tray and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the white chocolate mousse. First soak 2 leaves or 3.3 grams of gelatin in cold water. Then pour 100 grams of cream into a saucepan and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, dissolve the gelatin and add 180 grams of white chocolate. Then pour 200 grams of cream into a bowl and beat it until it's a yogurt thickness. After that, transfer 50 grams of sugar to a saucepan together with 20 grams of water. Heat this up till it's 118 degrees Celsius. While the sugar is heating up, transfer 90 grams of egg in a mixing bowl and start beating it. Once the egg is fluffy, add the hot sugar syrup and beat this till it's at room temperature. Now pour the white chocolate ganache on the egg mixture and then fold it together. Then pour the egg mixture on the beaten cream and gently fold this together. Now pour the white chocolate mousse on a tray that's lined with plastic foil. Spread it and then let it set in your freezer. Once it's frozen, cut it with a round cutter and keep the mousse in your freezer for later. Now for the cream. Start by mixing 250 grams of milk with 60 grams of sugar, 20 grams of cornstarch and the zest from one lemon. Now finally also add 100 grams of egg yolk, then mix it well and bring it to a boil while stirring. Once it has thickened, add 100 grams of white chocolate and mix this well. Then pour it in a bowl, cover it with plastic foil and let it cool down in your fridge. Once it's cold, pass it through a fine sieve and then transfer it into a piping bag that's fitted with a round nozzle. Then for the sponge cake. Mix 150 grams of egg white with 45 grams of almond powder, 30 grams of sugar, 15 grams of flour and 2 grams of salt. Now also add the zest from one lemon. Now blend this till completely smooth. This is going to take at least 5 minutes. Once it's smooth, pass it through a fine sieve into a siphon. Press the mixture through the sieve with a ladle to make it a bit easier. Now charge the siphon with 3 charges and shake it well after each charge. Then take 4 paper cups and make thin cuts at the bottom. Fill the cups halfway and bake them in a microwave at 700 watts for 45 seconds. After baking, turn them around on your worktop and let them cool down completely. Now repeat this with the remaining batter. Once it's cold, press the side of the cup slightly and give it one hard push on your worktop. Then keep it dry and covered for later. Once the ice cream has rested, pass it through a fine sieve into an ice cream machine. Then turn the fennel base into a beautiful smooth ice cream. Let it set for another 30 minutes in your freezer. 
Now we can start to finish the dish. First, transfer the white chocolate mousse in the middle of a plate and pipe the cream around the mousse. Press some of the sponge cake into the cream and then cover it with the fennel galettes. Now cover the mousse with the crumble and then finish the dish with a nice canal of the fennel seed ice cream. Okay guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm super happy with the result. I already tasted everything separate from each other and the flavor was amazing. Especially the ice cream is really nice. Only that in combination with the crumble is already, yeah, really good. So let's just taste everything combined. Mm. That's really good. You can really taste the fennel, which is an amazing combination with the white chocolate. And uh, the lemon just gives it a little buzz, which it really needs, but the combination is really nice. Um, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to see more amazing recipes and great tutorials. And as always, bon appetit.